Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do something that's gonna be a little bit challenging for me. Um, I am not a bug person, but I have seen a couple of you guys ask if you can put bugs or like how to put bugs in resin. So I have, you guys are not gonna like this. I feel like we're just gonna collectively go through this nasty experience uh, to learn how to put bugs in resin. Oh, you guys can't really see. So I have this really cute jar of some nasty bugs. So we're gonna put these in resin. I'm gonna show you guys how to preserve a bug successfully in resin. So if you were interested in that, you nasty, but also continue watching. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, this is gonna be challenging for me because I I don't do well with bugs. I mean, certain bugs I'm fine with, obviously, but like these kind of bugs, I'm, I'm not gonna do well. They all have like their own interesting story and I will say a little disclaimer, I did not kill any of these bugs. They were all found dead. Correction, I did kill the wasp, but only after I let it out and it came back in and it was terrorizing me. But I would never kill a bug to put it in resin. That's that's just terrible. This orange bug is a bug that my mom brought back for me from Mexico. Because <laughs> that's the kind of thing that my mom brings back for me from Mexico. Like, you know, some parents go to, you know, like the Bahamas or whatever, and they come back with like a cute shirt or like a bag or whatever, something from the hotel. Um, no, my mom goes to Mexico and brings me back a bug. And then the bumblebee, Sean came home <laughs> from work and he was like, hey, I've got something for you. And I was like, oh, that's so nice. Like, what is it? And um, it was a bug. We're gonna get started. My desk is sticky. Oh my God, it's voiceover artsy mad woman. Haven't seen you in so long. Um, yeah, so right here we're just kind of measuring out the two different parts, A and B, of the casting resin that I use. Um, I've used casting resin like a million times on my channel already, so I don't think I need to go into too much detail because if you want to know like more in depth um, for the casting resin instructions, then you can go find it in past videos. Um, but also, with little pyramid pieces like this, I recommend taking a toothpick and kind of getting at that very point of it because if you don't, a bubble most of the time, like nine times out of 10, will form right at the point. And when you pop out your piece, you'll have like a little like section where there was an air pocket and it won't come to an absolute point like it should. So take a toothpick and kind of get that bubble out of there. So with uh, focal points like bugs and flowers, you'll want to do it in two layers. So right now we're just doing the very first layer and then I'm going to put my bugs in. That bug it just freaks me out all the time. Every time I see it, it just freaks me out. And, uh, you know, we're having a hard time with it. <laughs> Okay, it's a dead bug. It's not alive. Ah! Once you've gone in with your heat gun or your torch and popped all the bubbles, you can put your insects in. I do kind of recommend putting them sideways rather than flat like I am here, just so that it's better for like viewing once the piece is popped out and you're displaying it somewhere. We got this, we got this, we can do it, we got, we got this, we can do it, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, ah! It's not gonna come alive, but it's like, what if it does, you know? Like, what if this bumblebee just, like, decided to be like, oh, psych, I'm alive. The more I look at this bumblebee, the more it's like, this is a beast-looking bumblebee. It's not alive, so why am I afraid?
All right, so maybe that was a little too hard for me. Like, girl, you probably shouldn't be as afraid of dead bugs as you are. But I'm literally, like, still looking at them like, you guys better not get up. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's just me. It's just what it is. Um, but yeah, so bugs are in the resin and I'm going to give them a few hours to kind of cure and then we're going to do a second layer and that will sandwich the bug inside. So I will see you in a little bit when we do the second layer. So once you've given your pieces some time to cure, I give them around five hours uh, to cure. That way it holds the bug down and it won't float. You can go in with your second layer and I also recommend not mixing as harshly as I did because I got a lot of bubbles uh, in this second layer, but that's okay. Uh, so yeah, you can go in with your second layer of resin. So we've got our three pieces with our three bugs in them and I think that they came out really cute. It's funny that like the bottom layer, I did like last second the next morning and there's a few bubbles in there because I was just like whipping it. So when you mix really fast, obviously you're going to get a lot of bubbles, but it is so cute. I love the like the little orange one. Look how cute he is. It's kind of cool. I bet you guys are going to comment and be like, oh, that's like the most poisonous bug in the world. And then the wasp was really cool. I love like his little curly antenna on the side right there. I think that's really cool. He still freaks me out even though he's in resin. Ooh. The really cool thing about these pyramids is that they are like kind of optical illusion-y if you know what I mean. Like they're really cool looking. Ooh. And in certain lighting uh, a rainbow will like kind of shoot through it as well as this one and then our bumblebee the more I look at it like really close up is it a bumblebee I mean it is obviously but like why is it almost like solid black maybe it's because it's like just been in the jar for so long but a really cool angle is this one because you can kind of see like his eyes I think it's really cool so that is how I put insects in resin and if you just sandwich them in the way that we did in this video they won't flow out because that's what will happen if you just kind of pour a ton of resin in and then put a bug in it will float out um, so yeah as long as you sandwich it in you should be good to go let me know what you guys think of these pieces and if you've ever uh, put insects in resin before 
Um, and let me know which one you liked the most and which one you liked the least. Like, which one kind of gave you the heebie-jeebies if they did? I actually put a poll up in my Instagram and a lot mo more people, m m m more <laughs> more people said that they love bugs rather than not liking bugs so i'm sure you guys will like these pieces or at least i hope you do um so let me know which one is your favorite thank you guys so much for watching this video leave a like and subscribe to my channel because these are the kinds of things that we do preserving weird bugs in resin along with a lot of other weird things so uh stick around i would love to have you and follow me on instagram because that is where like tons of things like all the uh, polls happen and all kinds of stuff like that so I love you guys to absolute death and I will see you on the next video goodbye Bye.